Hey folks, how you doing? Uh, we're back here at my favorite haunt. Um, we've got almost no winds. They're going to the west because I just saw a plane land. So they're going westwardly. And uh, congratulations to Miami Dolphin um, football team on an ass kicking. You understand? An ass kicking of the Jets. 30 to zip. And that really requires a full team effort, I must tell you. I'm impressed. Uh, also, congratulations to the Cleveland Browns, who came back from 17 to 7 in the fourth quarter. And uh, somehow, um, you, you had the cheap man's version of Tom Brady. Uh, what's his name? It's the guy who's won like three Super Bowls already. He won it with the Ravens. Um, and uh, some other team, I think. What was it? I forgot his name now, but that quarterback? I don't know why they got... I don't know how the Browns got him, but he may be the magic touch, folks. I forgot his name now, but the Browns have that quarterback that won three Super Bowls. How in the hell they got him, I don't know. But um, I'll think of his name be before um, I do the end of this little thing here, okay? Oh, what the hell is his name? Um... Really a low-key guy, too. He's like, he's not a hot shot or anything. I never particularly cared for him. I don't have anything against him. I, I just didn't think that he was the poor man's Tom Brady, but he is. He won like two or three Super Bowls already. What the hell's the name of that guy's name? I can't remember. Anyways. <clears throat> Sorry about this. I know he played for the, um, the Ravens. Anyways, here we go. Uh, 157 Invictus. I learned enough about this disc to where I know that this has to be put to the right with some Anheuser because these things just want to fall off to the left immediately. So uh, you're doomed when that happens. Um, you know, you're doomed to a 200, 230 foot flight. So 260 foot flight, that's it. So we're gonna to try to get this over to the right. Here we go. And uh, we are off. Ah, Invictus, 157. Uh, Invictus 157. Here we go. Nope, see, I did it again. I couldn't even get out of the shadow. Well, it's rolling, so it's out of the shadow now, but not from here. But you see, I fucked up because I still threw that with Heiser. Yeah, I gotta come up and get over because these, and especially this one, I went and I picked up this Vulcan. This is a one. 57 I think or 158 155 whatever it is Vulcan let me see about this and um, the Vulcans have a minus four which means they don't go that way at all they go to the right to the left hard okay Vulcan and the weight has worn off it's a 150 looks like it's a 157 anyways it's got to go very hard to the right, or we're not going to get shit out of this. Here we go. 157. Vulcan. Uh, better, but not great. A little better. Uh, just slightly better. I lost my power coming over the top. I'm not good at Anheuser's. Okay. Here we got this stupid ass um, New Zealand disc. Made in New Zealand. Um, I've been very unflattering uh, to these New Zealanders, but I'll give you a little tip, okay? If you're going to make a, a disc, don't worry about putting these two dials here, okay? See those two little dials that you spend so much uh, trouble in putting on? Don't do it! Anyways, the fire department is waiting to go by. All right. Here we go. 168 fire department uh, winking at me there. And gave me a little siren to boot. How do you like that? I get some respect here. How do you like that? Okay, 168. I guess they like my throw, but it's not the greatest. Uh, this is the 168 ape. The apes went ape shit two times ago. They won, and not only did they win, but they did an embankment job. And not only did they win, but they took first, second, and third place. A 168, which is this disc, a 169, 
and that little weird disc, that purple one that rolled, which I thought uh, it was rolling like this and they have a tendency to go to the right. Evidently, it didn't go to the right. I just couldn't see it. And it made it into third place. I couldn't believe it. So we had a sweep. Beating out, I think it was a katana. Here we go for third place or whatever it was. By the way, we will be buying a couple more discs. I'm going to get another turn and I'll get a few more bosses because I got off a really good throw with a boss and I want to embank one because right now the embankment club is uh, turns. We've got a 156 turn, a 150 turn. There could be others. These are the ones that I remember. And we now have an ape that made it onto the embankment. So ape, turn, and uh, katana. I'm pretty sure I made it on there with a guy. I did. I made it on there with that uh, 147 Pro Katana. I did it with that one too. That was the one that almost went up on the roof of the firehouse. Uh, no, it wasn't. That was the 149. Here we go, folks. Sorry to bore you. 168. Let's see if we can't get it to sit on the embankment. Here we go. Uh, well, not too bad, but uh, uh, it didn't skip because there's mud here now because of all the rain. And that's why I cut it because this shit's gonna grow. It's gonna grow fast. This is that shit weed grass. And when it doesn't rain, this will not grow for three months or four months, nothing. You get no growth out of it. But as soon as it rains and that soil gets wet, which it is now, it's gonna feed it and it's gonna grow. All right, we've got a 160. I think this is a 160, what is this? Uh. Oh, this is the uh, a firestorm. So I've got a 160 firestorm. I haven't thrown this disc much. It is a uh, a firestorm which has a lower glide uh, than the ape. The ape has a five glide. This has a four, uh, and this is a 160. Let's see if we can't get this embanked. Now the wind feels like it's going directly out. Sometimes that's not helpful, believe it or not. Here we go. 160 firestorm. Wow, that's a good throw. It's going to take first place. Oh, right where I cut. It landed right in the area that I cut. How fortuitous. I cut a 10 by, I cut about a 12 by 18 chunk out over there and it went right in there. How fortuitous. Okay, for giggles and laughs, we are going to throw this little 146 shark. Hey, it's a 146 shark. It's a little light. We're gonna have to end, we're gonna have to hyzer it big time. And let's see if we can hydro flip this, uh, hyzer flip this um, into that area I just threw right there. Uh, this has got about a 230 foot range. And that right now where that thing is, it's around 280. So let's see if we can't do it. Shark, 146, hyzer flip time. Okay, see that folks? I couldn't get it hyzer flip. So it's gonna go much shorter. No matter, it's out there and you can just barely see it from here. So it got out of the shadow of the hill. Don't forget it's a 146 shark. What did I fail doing there? All you people watching that want to get better. When I threw it, I had too much hyzer on it. I, uh, it's hard because you have to learn. But um, I didn't need that much hyzer. I could have gotten another 35, 40 feet off that throw if I threw it right. Okay, we've got a katana here. I'm almost certain it is a katana and it is a 166 and we are gonna launch this. Here we go, 166 katana. That's a good throw, folks. That's a good throw, that might take first place. It is, I, oh yeah, I think that's first place. So 166 katana is taking first place again. That's what the katanas are good at. The 160 class katanas are very good, any of them really, but they're very good at disappointing the other discs. You know, the discs will get into a, a good position and then they're just the seat unseated immediately by these katanas. And uh, they're not even pro katanas. They're just regular katanas. $6, $4.80 when you buy 10. And I will make my final order. 
this Friday or maybe not this maybe not this week I'll try but it's Christmas so I may not I'll try though okay this is a and you know I need to weigh this bastard um, this is an ape it says it's a 138 or a 168 this may be a 138 I'm really interested to see how heavy this is because um, I just damn it, it feels very light to me and uh, my scale is here it is good I got it so we can check because I am very suspicious about this they sent this to me as a 160 class and evidently they made a mistake let's uh, let's weigh this little guy here it is and we are gonna weigh it let's see what it comes out with okay it looks like it's about a 143 this says 168 or 138 it's coming out to me at around about a one it's coming out to me as about a 140 I think maybe a little bit more maybe a 142 it's hard with the scale because I have to lean I have to lean the scale okay it's coming out at like 140 grams it's very very light they have to hyzer flip or this thing will wash out but it got a good roller last time or a couple times ago here we go uh, 142 is what I would say um, ape here we go oh you see that it's got a good roll angle it's going whoa that thing is way out there that is without a doubt second place and it looks like it's threatening first place and the same general region Again, it counts, folks. The professionals do that, and they know how to do it very well. This is more of a haphazard kind of thing with me. 161. This is a... Ah, uh, shit. Oh, this is... The, what is this? Invictus? What, what the hell is this? Colossus. Another one that wants to go to the left as soon as it gets out of the gate. Wants to go to the left. This will finish left, and it'll try to do it immediately. So we gotta try to put Anheuser on this, which means go this way. And I gotta throw this thing deep to the right because that's how the Colossuses are. This is a little heavy too. 161 is a little heavy in my book. Here we go. Colossus, 161. Uh, you see it's gonna come back. And I really tried on that one. And uh, it's out there and I don't know. Looks like it's a little further than the other one's possible third place candidate. I don't think that will stick. We've got the Excalibur. It's supposed to be very good going into the wind. Uh, this is a fucking porky pig because it is 100 to 73 to 175. And I'm going to weigh it. Okay, I've got my scale here. And uh, I'm going to weigh porky pig here because this thing is fucking heavy. Here we go. 176. So it's even heavier than what they claim. It's showing 176. So here we go. Um, this is going to give you a hernia when you throw one of these. I got to put this thing way deep off to the right. No hyzer at all. Here we go. Excalibur. 176. God almighty. This is hard. Here we go. I threw it too high. Um, wow, it's not too bad. It's running around 20 feet, 18 to 22 feet behind that other one that I got out there, which was first place a while ago, so not bad. Okay, we've got this shark, and I was going to give this to my friend uh, MJ, but... Uh, MJ is just sticking his toe in the water and uh, not really doing anything. So 144 here with this shark. Now, folks, with a 150 or a 152 shark, I think it was a shark. If it wasn't a shark, it was something close with no rim. This has no rim or a very thin one. 
I was able to pull off a 300 foot throw. Uh, make it to the telephone pole over there, that big pole, and you got 338 or 336. Here we go. 144 start. I like this tip. Okay, that's not a bad throw, but it's not good. It is uh, fair. Fair throw. Uh, okay. It, it probably got about 280 feet, honestly. It's probably, it looks like it's around 280, 260. No, it's about 270. All right, we've got this uh, 148 day of Dallas. It allows us to throw with the gods, okay? At least it uh, soars with the gods. That's what they say in Iowa, okay? Oh, yes, and the day of Dallas is one that got almost to the embankment. It got to the foot, and it qualifies because at the time... I had never thrown 400 feet, and this one got to within three feet of the embankment. Uh, four feet would be my guess, and it had to be a 401 or 402 foot throw. It's, so I, it qualifies certainly into the 400 club, but it was the 163, and I did it, or is this 164, 163, and I did it right out of the box. So here we go. Let's see if we can't get this little puppy up on the embankment. 148. Day of Dallas. Here we go. Ah! I over torqued it. It may roll. It's rolling, but I don't think it's got a good angle. And it doesn't because I don't see it. I don't think it. I've said it before and then it comes out really good. So who knows? I didn't see it. All right. This little bastard is another one. This, this Mamba, this 142 Mamba. In fact, I'll weigh this one too because this thing is really light. It's so light that it's almost impossible to throw. You gotta hydro flip it. You gotta, you gotta hyzer flip it. Let me see what this is saying. Hang on, folks. It is. It says it's a 148. I have trouble believing that. One forty. Showing one forty on my scale. It's roughly that. Um, it's got a hyzer flip. When it, it rolled into second place one time, I couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. We're in the wind. Uh, here we go. Let's see if we can't get a hyzer flip here. Here we go. Mamba, 140. Okay, it's going to roll possibly. Might have a good angle. It's rolling. It's out there good. All right. That little disc may have just taken third place. I've only got one more disc. It is my beloved 148, which is the heartbreaker. You understand? It's the heartbreaker because much like its cousin, not really cousin, but it's uh, something, Katana, this one does not like to lose. That 148, I think, I think it did. This one got onto the embankment over there too. So this is a turn. So all the, the discs, we got a turn. I know that 148 made it up there. We had a Katana 168. Uh, again, the Dead Dallas, because it was the first. It didn't make it on the embankment, but it made it uh, three feet away, three and a half feet away. And it was the first, right out of the box too, 163 Dead Dallas. And uh, I guess that's it, the turn, the turn. And I'm not sure if the other one made it. I don't I don't think a boss has ever made it up there either. So here we go. 148, could this land on the embankment? Well, let's find out because as soon as we throw this, we're gonna pick up these discs. 148, turn, here we go. That's a very good throw. Oh my, that's a good throw. That's a good throw. Oh, oh it's gonna be very, very close. It's gonna be very, very close. They're all in that same range. Let's go check it out. Wow, that was really, really terrific. Okay, and we did it in only 19 minutes. Here we go with my gabbing. All right, folks, I'll show you what I cut this morning. Uh, I made a pathway here. I should do one through here too. I should start clearing that out. My feet get all wet and shit. Now, that uh, there's a couple discs that landed in that place that I, I cut. I made a big box. Oh, maybe it wasn't the one. Anyways, nothing landed in the box I just made over there. That took me 45 minutes to make that box. 
that is burned the shit out of right here. Uh, you can see they cut everything. And uh, he even cut into the corner. I didn't do the corner. So at least he did that. I worked a little bit here. Let's take a look at the uh, weak throw. Uh, the weak throw is going to be either that one right there. No, it's going to be this red one. So I'll go for a round two. It's not going to be the red one. It's going to be this one. All right. So this is the weak throw. Uh, nothing really made it deep to the left, which is a little bit unusual. Okay, this is that 157 Invictus. So it's going to bring up the pack. The 158 uh, Vulcan is uh, the second worst throw. And the third worst throw is this what is this a 168 no this is the the shark and the shark made it around oh 240 feet you see the shark outperformed those two discs okay so let's get to the meat and potatoes here all right so the sh another shark made it here and made it to i'm gonna call uh a 275 though at least 275 possibly a 280 foot throw okay the excalibur has come in with a 290 foot throw okay these two here we've got two we got three deep looks like we're not going to have any trouble with getting to the winners here they are all i i told you they were all in the same general region there was one there too but it's not as deep that was the deep throw early and that one i don't know what it is whatever it is we'll check it out later this is what i just did right here folks this is a fucking blast out right here can you see this this grass is already cut and i blazed the living shit down on here and i did miss a couple spots here no matter it is really blazed down that's going to take a while for that to come back uh there's a white disc it's probably a 168 and the other orange one i don't know what that is there uh i there of no memory here but these three, four, we've got honorable mention here because we're going to have a fourth place finisher. Oh, isn't that sad? Isn't that sad? That little roller, it got beaten out. It got beaten out. It almost rolled. It, I told you this thing rolled a long way. This rolled over 100 feet. So it came in fourth place no matter it is at least um, uh, four meters. Let's see. Here's the post right here. So this is at least, uh, it's almost four meters forward. So this is a 360 foot throw, 355 foot throw. And then again, the spoiler here was the 148, the last disc that I threw, of course, uh, taking third place. The, what is this? The, are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? What, what happened to this? How did this get in second place by uh, less than a meter? How did this happen? Didn't this roll? I'm going to have to look at the video here. What in the hell happened? This little disc came in second place by a foot and a half. Are you kidding me? And this is a deep throw, folks. This is around, especially for this kind of light disc. This is around uh, 50 feet off that embankment, which means it's at least a 350 foot throw. So, all right. First place is going to be the 166 Katana. It just doesn't like to lose. The Katanas kick ass and take phone numbers. That's all. So this may have set a distance record because this was really a far throw. It made it to uh, pretty much the beginning of the white truck over there. And one, two, one, two. It's between two and three over there. So it's, you know, again, we've had throws that have gone six, seven uh, of those uh, vertical slats on the chain link fence over no matter, um, it's a, a good throw. And uh, we give um, really honorable mention to this uh, 140, 141, whatever this is, little ape. 
because it did an, an amazing job of rolling. It had, a, it must have had a very good angle. So that's it, folks. And uh, I'm going to throw one more time because I've only got about uh, 15 discs here. And uh, we'll go for a round two. And I will see if I can get my shit together and get something on the embankment for you. Bye.